Hey everyone, welcome to a new series on my channel. Welcome to Hunter's Road Talk. <laughs> what is this thing about anyway? I will tell you guys, but first, roll the intro, please. Canadian Rob, who is a good friend of mine and also a streamer on YouTube, asked me something during one of his streams and he actually said he heard rumors about that you, when you drive on the German Autobahn and you end up in a traffic jam, that you have to move over to create an emergency lane. And he wanted to know... Is it, is it true? And to answer Rob's question, yes, this is very true. And this is what I am going to talk about in this first episode. So stay tuned and learn from someone who is actually a German. In Germany, this thing is called Rettungsgasse, which might be better translated as rescue lane instead of emergency lane. And how does this thing work? Huh? Huh? Well, unfortunately, a lot of people, or even the majority of people here in Germany, still think that you have to create this emergency lane or rescue lane when you hear an emergency vehicle actually approaching you from behind. But that is completely wrong. It is wrong to wait with the rescue lane until you hear or see a rescue vehicle approaching you from behind and you are not only supposed to make a rescue lane you are dictated by the law to make one it is a law in the road traffic act i will blend it in right down here um and it says it also says that you don't have to wait or should, shouldn't wait until you see or hear a rescue vehicle. When you notice that the traffic is slowing down to a speed where it obviously predicts a traffic jam, you have to move over and create this rescue lane to give way to probably oncoming vehicles. They don't come every time. It's not like you sit in a traffic jam and you see a fire truck or EMS or police vehicle or whatever like every five seconds. Now you can end in a traffic jam for two hours without seeing a single rescue vehicle. The reason to create the rescue lane while you are still slowly moving is when you get in a traffic jam and you are already stuck and everyone has come to a complete stop and you're staying bumper to bumper no one has any space left to create a rescue lane if one is required or needed immediately needed because there is an emergency vehicle coming so uh, therefore make the emergency lane the rescue lane while you are still moving. And for those of you who wonder how this rescue lane works or how or, or what you're supposed to do, um, it don't matter if you're on a two-lane part or on a three-lane part of the autobahn. If you are driving on the very left lane, you have to go all the way to the left as far as you can. And if you drive on the middle or the right lane you have to go to the right as far as you can. Uh, usually it goes like the very right lane goes half the way onto the shoulder lane, the middle lane goes half onto the right lane and the left lane goes as far left as they can. So here is a little clip of how it is supposed to look.
And yes, people always say, oh, look at how efficient the German traffic is, how they react to emergency vehicles. Because there are a lot of videos where you see um, how perfect German drivers react, but this is not always the case. There are always people and situations that are totally messed up by the drivers. And yes, of course, and totally understandable, the rescue personnel can get really, really angry about it, because some people are just, yeah, some people just don't get it. So <laughs> look this clip as example of how a cop reacts when someone is not making the rescue line properly. Guten Tag, sind Sie Fahrempfängerin? Aber dann sollte man auch wissen, dass man da auf der rechten Spur bleibt und nicht hier irgendwo in der Mitte, wo ich nicht durchkomme. Das macht keinen Sinn. Nee, Sie dürfen da nicht, Sie dürfen da nicht rüberfahren. Rettungsgasse heißt Rettungsgasse für Rettungskräfte frei halten. Ich habe hier ein Problem durchzukommen. Verstehen Sie das? Danke. Or even like this. What you saw in the last clip is probably or pretty much the absolutely worst case. A uh, rescue vehicle, no matter if it is a fire truck, an EMS or a police vehicle, they should not have to stop and to get out to tell people to move over. This is something that absolutely should never ever happen. The only exception to the rescue lane law in Germany is when you are driving in a construction zone and you have only one lane. So, and of course you obviously don't have any space to move over when you have only one lane. If you don't have a chance to move over to get out of the way of the emergency vehicle, you are supposed to keep driving within the speed limit so long until you have any space to move over. And if you don't have a chance to move over in this one lane, because obviously you don't have a chance to move over, but when there is no space to move, you can't move. It's pretty simple. In a situation like that, you keep driving within the speed limit until there is a chance for you to move over. And by chance, I mean pretty much everything, even if it is just the space between two of those construction zone warning posts or limitation posts or whatever they are called in English. And if there is absolutely no chance to move over, you keep going. You don't, I'm sure you shouldn't be like, oh, I'm on a Sunday trip or something like that. You should move as fast as the speed limit allows it to you. And as soon as you leave the construction zone or as soon as there is a second lane you can use, you have to move over and give way to the emergency vehicles. And what you see all the time too is people who try to flee, kind of flee to the front when there is a fire truck or whatever coming from behind, like hitting the gas and go for it, you know, but that's wrong. And I would absolutely not recommend to do this. Stay inside the speed limit because the speed limit is there for a reason. It might be a shitty road surface, it might be a very small lane or 
whatever reasons it has. So um, stay within the speed limit and even an emergency car running code 3 can't force you to go over the speed limit. Because then you reach your own safety zone where you might feel uncomfortable, uncomfortable or where it just starts to get dangerous. So don't let the vehicle behind you, even if it is running code 3, don't let it rush you. Here is another short clip of how it can be done in a construction zone. So the rescue lane is not only a law on the autobahn, it is pretty much a law. Yeah, it is in fact a law everywhere, on every public and even private road or federal road or no matter where you drive in Germany, the rescue lane is a law. So another situation is when you in a city or wherever and you sit on a red light and you have a code 3 vehicle coming from behind you are actually allowed and supposed to run the red light not like hitting the gas and go all the way through no you have to be pretty careful pretty slowly roll into the intersection and you are not supposed to go all the way over the intersection unless it is really necessary because of other cars behind you who need space too to move um yeah you're supposed to very carefully go into that intersection absolutely watching for crossing traffic so here's another clip of how it is done on the intersection And it's not only running a red light when there is when you have to, or in, in the special case of uh, car three vehicles, um, you are also allowed to drive onto the sidewalk to make way. Of course, you have to be very, very careful. You have to watch extremely watch for pedestrians on that sidewalk, but you are allowed to go on it or drive onto it as far as you have to. So if you ever have the chance to drive a car in Germany, make sure to stick to the law. Because besides the fact that the emergency personnel can and probably will get very angry at you, it can and will also get very expensive if the police writes you down. The fines for not making a rescue lane or what would be even worse, blocking a rescue lane, no matter if it is on accident or on purpose are between 200 and 320 euro just to give you a rough number of how expensive it can get plus your driver's license will be withdrawn for one month do not risk it seriously don't don't do it and if i can give you one more advice at the end of this video it will be be the first be the first be a good example for real if you end up in a traffic jam move over create a rescue lane no matter what the people in front of you are doing but if the people behind you see that you start making a rescue lane they most probably will follow your example and create one too. So go ahead as a good example. So that's it for the first episode of Hunter's Road Talk. 